In this lesson, we're diving into a topic that many of you can relate to, letting go of work thoughts when you're not at work. I'm gonna share some strategies that have helped me, my clients, and students. So, let's get into it. We've all been there, right? That revenge fantasy about your boss, the never-ending to-do list, and that meeting that went completely off the rails. It's like a broken record playing in your head over and over and over, even when you're trying to relax or spend time with loved ones. But here's the thing, when work consumes our every thought, it takes a toll on our mental well-being and our relationships. It's like we're carrying our office burdens around in a backpack, even when we're off the clock. So how do we break free from this constant cycle of work-related rumination? Here are some strategies that I wanna share with you. Number one, acknowledge and track. The first step is to become aware of how much time you're actually spending obsessing about work when you're not there. Start by tuning into your thoughts throughout the day. Check in with yourself. Are you replaying conversations? Are you worrying about deadlines? Or are you mentally composing emails while you're brushing your teeth, doing your workout, or having dinner? Awareness is key. Try keeping a journal or some digital log for a week, jotting down every time your mind drifts back to work-related thoughts. And you can even set alarms throughout the day to check in with yourself and note down any work-related thoughts that you're having. Once you set it on paper or in your digital file, you might be surprised by how much of your free time is being hijacked. Two, redirect your brain. When those work thoughts start creeping in, don't just try to push them away. Instead, redirect your brain meaning engage in activities that require your full attention and mental energy. Think puzzles, brain teasers, learning a new language, doing a hard, intense workout. That always helps me get my mind off things. I think it's a great way to unwind and relax in a lot of ways. So a challenging workout routine, 100%, maybe even a creative project that you've been meaning to start, something creative, something active, something intense will help. So it might even be picking up a new hobby that you've always been interested in, like painting, knitting, playing an instrument, gardening, or even learning a new dance. The key is to find something that absorbs your full focus, your mental energy, and leaves absolutely no room for work worries. Number three, identify the real issue. Instead of dwelling on the surface level worries, try to dig deeper. What's the underlying issue that is causing your stress? Is it a fear of failure, a feeling of being overwhelmed, or a conflict with a coworker? Journaling can be a helpful tool for this. Write down your work-related thoughts and feelings and see if you can identify any themes or patterns or recurring themes. Once you pinpoint the root cause, you can start brainstorming solutions. If you're feeling overwhelmed, can you break down your tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks? If it's a conflict with a coworker, can you have an honest conversation to address the issue? Number four, shift your perspective. Sometimes it's not about fixing the situation, it's about changing how you view it. Can you find a silver lining in that frustrating project? Maybe it's teaching you valuable skills or pushing you to grow, getting outside of your comfort zone. Try to reframe the challenge as an opportunity for learning and development. Another way to shift your perspective is to practice gratitude. At the end of each day, write down three things that you're grateful for in your work. It could be a supportive colleague, a successful project, or even a small accomplishment. Focusing on the positive aspects of your job can help counteract the negative thoughts that often consume us. Number five, create a ritual to signal your brain that it's time to switch gears, create a transition ritual. It could be as simple as changing out of your work clothes, taking a relaxing bath, 
or listening to your favorite music. You could also try lighting a candle, meditating, or spending a few minutes stretching or practicing mindfulness exercises. This ritual acts as a mental cue that you're leaving work behind and that you're entering a new zone. Number six, prioritize your life. Remember, your job is just one aspect of your life. Make time for activities and hobbies that bring you joy and fulfillment outside of work. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, exploring a new hobby, or simply enjoying some quiet time alone in nature, make sure that you're nourishing all aspects of your life. Set boundaries for yourself. Decide on a specific time each day when you'll stop checking work emails and disconnect from work-related communication. Create a dedicated workspace at home and avoid working in areas where you typically relax or spend time with family. It's important to remember that breaking free from work thoughts takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and don't get discouraged if you have setbacks along the way. The key is to keep practicing these strategies and to be kind to yourself in the process. Remember, you deserve to have a fulfilling life both inside and outside of work. So let's do a recap of this lesson. By incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, you can gradually retrain your brain to let go of work thoughts when you're not at work. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating work-related thoughts, but rather about managing them so that they don't take over your life. By setting boundaries, prioritizing your well-being, practicing mindfulness, you can create a healthier relationship with work and enjoy a more balanced and fulfilling life. It's important to remember that breaking free from work thoughts takes time and effort, right? So be super patient with yourself. Don't feel like you need to get there right away and definitely don't get discouraged if you have setbacks along the way. This is part of the process, it's part of the journey. The key is to keep practicing these strategies, try them out, reiterate on them, try them on for size as I like to say, and always be patient and kind with yourself because it is a process. Like I said, you deserve to have a fulfilling life both inside and outside of work. And my friends, if you're looking to advance your communication skills and social fluency for better work and life outcomes, then Exploring Academy is your answer. We are a professional development platform designed to help you unlock your full potential. We also have live events for you to join. This option is perfect for those of you who prefer to learn at your own pace while still benefiting from a supportive environment. And for a more personalized approach, our coaching and feedback programs offer targeted practice in small group coaching sessions and live feedback sessions where you'll receive individual attention and guidance and feedback, allowing you to refine your communication skills and gain confidence in your interactions, both at work and in life. And for the aspiring executives out there, you can benefit from our Executive Excellence Masterclass, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the essential skills to thrive in leadership roles. You'll learn how to craft and deliver effective communication in various forms, including presentations, meetings, interviews, negotiations, pitches. You'll develop and demonstrate key leadership skills such as decision-making, conflict resolution and management, team management. You'll apply emotional intelligence in professional interactions, building stronger relationships and fostering a positive work environment. You'll manage time and resources efficiently, ensuring that your projects and initiatives are successful. And you'll foster a culture of inclusivity and continuous learning, creating a high performing and engaged team. For more information and to learn what our members, both current and past, have to say about our programs and our teaching, go to academy.exploring.co. Like I said, you can learn more about our programs and all the details there. So take the first step towards unlocking your full potential. Now, I would love to hear from you. What are some of your biggest challenges in letting go of work thoughts and ruminating when you're not at work? 
What strategies have you found effective in the past? Let's share our experiences and learn from each other in the comments section down below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips on improving your social skills, your executive communication, your social interaction, and your confidence. Remember, a balanced life is a happier life. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, everyone. Happy exploring.